Today, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of Gamma. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a Gamma expert. Let's get started. You can access Gamma at gamma.app or using the link in the description below. Gamma is an incredible AI product that allows you to save time in design presentations, documents, social media assets, and websites. And I'm going to walk you through some of the coolest features on Gamma today. And all you have to do is just head over using the link in the description. Now, you can click the Start for Free button in the top right and log in or create an account. I'm going to go ahead and use the Google widget to sign in to Gamma. So I'm going to click Continue with Justin. Um, but for you, you can hit Continue or Start for Free. And voila, here I am. So after you've created an account, it'll ask you, how do you plan to use Gamma? You can say for personal use, for work, or for education as a student or an educator. I'll go ahead and say for personal use for right now. Now it asks which of the following best describes you and it lists multiple rules here. Now I'm a creator, so I'm going to select creator, but you can select what best describes you. And then it's going to ask how many people work at your organization, whether it's just you or more than you. And you can select how many people just like that. And then it says select all that apply for what you plan to do with Gamma. So you can create presentations from scratch, turn no notes into presentations, enhance existing PowerPoints or PDF files, you can build a website, you can create social media assets, you can generate images with AI. Or if you're not sure what you're going to do with Gamma, you can select the last option that says not sure. For the purposes of this video and complete beginner's guide, I'm going to show you how to generate images with AI and create presentations from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll press the continue button in the right. And now it asks, how did you hear about us? Now, you probably heard us heard about Gamma on YouTube since you're watching this YouTube video right now. Now we can go ahead and get started. It says create with AI. This is like the home page of Gamma where you can say that you're going to create by pasting in some text. You can generate some content from a one line prompt or you can import from a file or URL. It's recommended that you get started with the prompt. So we can go ahead and click the recommended option here where we can get started with a one line prompt. Now, this will allow us to create a presentation and Gamma is the perfect PowerPoint killer. There's no need to ever waste time designing PowerPoints ever again because we can come over to Gamma and say, create a new presentation on the iPhone 17. And we can go ahead and just say generate outline just like that. Now, since we love covering technology on this channel, it's doing the outline completely for us, where we've got a bigger, brighter display, a revolutionary center for stage camera, the powerhouse A19 chip. Gamma just went out and crawled the internet, it did the research for us, and then proposed what the outline should be right here in the software. Now we've got 10 cards here. If we want to, we can rearrange them by clicking the three lines right here on the side and dragging them up to wherever we want to. So say we want to talk about the design and durability first, we can click the three dots that are on the side and drag that up to number two. And now it, it's at the very top. You can come over here and you can click and add anything. Um, so one thing that I did notice is uh, the new pro max does not come in black so i can add that in there and you can make any modifications that you want to within this within this outline to get started here you can adjust the amount of cards so if you want less cards they're, they're like slides essentially in your presentation you can say if you want less cards right now it's set for 10 and then you can come down and customize your gamma We've got the minimal, concise, detailed, or extensive. And this shows how much text is going to be on the card. For the purposes of this presentation, I want a minimum amount of text on the, pre on the presentation for this gamma. 
All right, and now I can come down to visuals and I can select what I want it to look like. And there's even this handy view more button, which allows me to see all of the themes that I can make my gamma look like. And I can just scroll down and then I can find the perfect theme here. So I like the alien theme here, I can select it. It's got some green highlights in here. I can select that theme and we are good to go. Now the AI source is from AI images, but you can select stock photos, web images, illustrations, or animated GIFs if you want, but we're gonna keep it on AI and play with the images, which will make it really fun. We can auto select the model, but you can see here you've got basic models, advanced models, premium models, and more. You've got image art style, and you can add additional keywords. Now, in order to create a presentation, or in this case, what we call a gamma, let's go ahead and just press the generate button at the very bottom, this blue generate button, and it will take the outline that it's created here, and it will generate the gamma for us. So we'll press that button just now. You'll see it swirling here, it's generating, and we are good to go. And it starts to design this lovely presentation for us. You can see the AI is generating and you should be sure to keep this tab open while it's working. You don't wanna close it out while it's designing the presentation for you. You can see we are on slide two and it's talking about beauty meets strength. And then it goes on to our card number three where it talks about the display excellence. Then card number four, the front camera. It's even put in a nice little, uh, you know, explanation model here of how that works and it continues to design the content that it's gone out and researched for us so you can see how powerful it is and how easy it is and how much time gamma saves you to create and generate an outline and then instantly make cards and perfect your gamma right here within seconds now normally this would take maybe you know 30 minutes or more, maybe hours to design casually in PowerPoint. Lots of, you know, research and manually copying and editing and redesigning images. You know, that could take a whole day to design a keynote presentation or a PowerPoint presentation, but we just made one on the iPhone 17 within literally 30 seconds here. It did the outline and it perfected our presentation. Now, of course, we can come in here and modify anything we need to. Say we wanna focus this on the bigger models. We can type in Pro Max here. Um, and then the future in your hands. We've got design and durability. Um, we can come over here and add um, that Pro Max does not, uh, I guess we can say Pro Max has an orange because it, that's the new feature. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and add that in there. Um, it talks about Ceramic Shield 2. Now this was one of the coolest features. They came out with an iPhone Air um, that also is thinner and lighter, um, but uses the Ceramic Shield 2 that Gamma went out here and did the research and says that it's 3X. It's three times better scratch resistant. And they included that stat right here in our presentation. So you can see how incredible it is to use Gamma for your presentations. And look at this cool AI image that it generated for us. Now, you'll see at the top of your cards that you can edit things with AI. So we can come over here and um, we can ask it to improve the writing, fix spelling and grammar, translate, make longer, make shorter, simplify the language. We can make it more visual. So let's go ahead and make it more visual. Um, so we'll press more visual and then it will work its AI magic and it will start to you know, add in some more images here for our presentation. And just like that, it has gone ahead and talked about the Super Retina XDR display and the unrivaled durability. And you can see that the images were here are AI generated. But what's really cool is you can double click on these images and talk to it. Um, and, you know, you can see here where it was created. So a close up of an iPhone screen with Ceramic Shield 2 showing extreme scratch resistance, reduced glare, and a durable setting, futuristic and high tech. Um, so you can see how um, that prompt was created here. It was used in illustration style, the aspect ratio, the image count, and the model. You can come over. Um, we can even have our AI images that are in this uh, project right here so that were generated in this workspace and then we've got this gamma so super cool but we can come over here to ask ai and now we've made our first gamma and we can customize and talk to the ai um, and make more edits so we can see gamma uses cards to contain content they're similar to slides and powerpoint or keynote 
um, and we got different pages and segments within this section here. So we'll go ahead and hit the arrow button. It's giving us a little tour of how to use Gamma. Every card is made up of editable blocks, so you can modify things. You saw this earlier when I added the Pro Max text to this document and, and, and to this card specifically. So I can hit the next button and we're good to go. We can say, let's go. So now that I, I, I have this chat with AI feature open, I want to show you how you can edit images using AI. Um, so we've got some pre-set pre, um, options right here where we can increase the screen uh, reflection or we can make the colors more vibrant or we can add scratches to the screen or we can focus on the screen only. But for the iPhone 17, the key thing for the Pro Max is the color. So I'm going to say, can you make this feature the new orange color of the iPhone Pro Max or iPhone 17 Pro Max? And we'll go ahead and ask it to edit that image for us and add in some orange color. Now, the best thing about the AI is, um, you know, clearly we're able to customize the prompt and tell it um, what to do. And just like that, we can scroll down and we can see that it added some orange color in there to show. Um, you can see what the previous one looked like before where it was there's no orange in it. And then this new one, it says, perfect. I've updated the phone to showcase the new orange color while keeping all the high-tech visuals. Isn't that incredible? So in order to come to the chat with AI feature, all you have to do is just scroll down. You can double click on one um, of those images and it instantly pops up right here. Um, and then there's this blue button at the top right that says Ask AI. You click on it once and you can come in here and say, uh, remove the Apple logo. Replace it with Gamma's logo. And um, let's see how this works. So we're using AI. It's going to search for the Apple logo. Um, and now it's got some options for us. This is the correct Gamma logo. And you can see here now Gamma is inputted into the screen instead of the, the iPhone. Um, isn't, oh wow, that's cool. So it used AI. Now with AI and generative images, you always get a unique design every time. Um, so we can see here that it replaced the Apple logo with a random circle and some icons and then inserted the Gamma logo right there on top of the iPhone. Isn't that incredible? We just designed an entire image using AI on the Gamma app where we just, all we have to do is scroll down to an image we want. We can double click on it and then we can click Ask AI and then scroll over to the text box and say, um, add a halo ring on top. Random prompt there. I'm gonna minimize the get started things. Um, so chat with AI, you can instantly use Gamma and modify any of the images and use AI to perfect those images just by chatting with it. So we asked it to add a halo ring, and now we have a halo ring on top of it, and that looks awesome. So you can see how much fun I'm having with Gamma already, and I'm just getting started. We can bring up the options here where um, you know we, we can see how to get started. So we have generated our first Gamma. Now you can always add a card. Now to add a card is in the top left. You just press the new card button, and a new card pops up. And we can say, hello, Gamma. This is incredible. So we can go ahead and check that off. We've added a card. Um, you can drag to reorder cards. So just like any other software, um, you can look at the sidebar. Say we want to drag this new Hello Gamma card above. Uh, we can just drag it just like that. And now we can see it um, right here. If we want to drag it one more above, let's see if we can see it move in real time. We can move it up and it just moves up just like that. So super simple to drag in uh, reorder cards. We can go ahead and check that off. We can add charts and diagrams. So you can see, um, you know, we have a few charts and diagrams right here, um, which is pretty cool. So we can hit the plus bottom or the plus button right here and continue to modify um, this chart, this progress chart right here of how the AI powered framing works and the dual capture video and the first ever square sensor. You can change the theme. We've modified and edited images with AI, which has been really cool. Now let's try presenting. So to present, you just press this 
play button in the top right that says present and now it brings it live for us and we can go through like a normal presentation here and we can click and um, move on to the next slide we can use the arrow keys and you can see what it looks like to present this in full screen right here using gamma now you can hit the spotlight button to spotlight a certain thing which is really cool um, you can share this with other people and then you can hit the exit button to exit out presentation mode and continue editing your gamma so super cool software that they've got set up right here so really exciting. I love using Gamma to be able to come back and import, um, you know, AI content essentially um, and have it organize it very well into slides and presentations. And the best part is we started with a very simple prompt. If we go back to Gamma here, um, when we click create new AI and we click generate, we just start with a simple prompt. We type in one sentence, two sentence, three sentence, and then it does the work for us and we are good to go, which is very exciting. Now, you can make web pages in Gamma, so we can come over here and say, make a wedding invite for tomorrow at 12 p.m. And then we generate, generate the outline. Now we've got it selected on the web page, and then it goes ahead and um, it starts doing the work for us. So Gamma is incredible because it saves you hours, days, weeks so much time could you imagine if i had to manually google and see how to make other wedding websites and know what to type and know what to input here so i can click generate and then one second here almost you know very quick less than 30 seconds it starts to generate this website for us um, and we have a workable option that we can publish to the web and share with the world so you're invited to celebrate our wedding tomorrow at noon and it goes ahead and it has all the details here and we can come in, we can customize it, we can add the correct address, the coordinates, the ceremony, we can modify anything we need to do and it is incredibly easy to do. So you can see it build the entire website for us and all we had to do was just type in a simple prompt, you know, 60 seconds there and Gamma saved us a lot of time by creating the website extremely fast using AI and it's one of the best pieces of software out there. I use it all the time just to be able to come in and simplify the process of when I make my keynote presentations. And, you know, it has to be in a gamma because instead of spending hours and hours of manually designing keynotes and uh, Google Slides and PowerPoints, gamma just does it effortlessly in seconds. So it's really cool. So you can see this website was created and we can just press the publish button in the top right. And just like that, we can publish this to the web and we have a full website on, on the internet that we can share over text message or in an email or on social media that's live just like that. Incredible. So Gamma is an incredible AI tool. You just click create new with AI, you click generate, you can make presentations, web pages, documents, and social media content. Very easy to get started and all you have to do it's just head over to gamma.app to get started. This has been a complete beginner's guide of the Gamma software at gamma.app. It's been an incredible journey showing you how to create presentations, edit with AI, and make websites. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next technology video. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and comment below what your favorite feature of Gamma is in this video. We love producing these videos for you and we appreciate you for checking it out. And don't forget to hit that like button. So thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.